Listen, anybody that knows me knows that I love sports. And some of my favorite sports are basketball and track and field. And specifically when it comes to basketball, I enjoy the times of the playoffs and things like March Madness, the NBA playoffs, uh, the, the, the NFL postseason, or what have you. And the interesting thing when I think about when I think about sports, one of the things that comes to mind is that not everybody gets to go into the postseason. Not everybody gets to go to the playoffs. Not everybody gets to go to the championship. Okay, and so and so the the, the subject that comes to mind is is the or the word that comes to mind is access. All right, and not everybody has access to certain. Uh, uh, levels when it comes to sports, okay? And so when I think about access, the other word that comes to mind is limitations. And so one of the things that I want us to think about is when we talk about whatever it is that we're dealing with in our life, when we, when we talk about getting to the next level, the, the, the next stage in our life, I want us to think about uh, what are our limitations. And as I thought about some of our people and, and what we've been through, you know, there was a point in time when there were shackles on our feet. All right, shackles around our wrists. All right, there, there was a certain time where where there was a boundary on a plantation that we could not go past without the risk of being shot and killed. All right, there was a, a certain there were certain relationships that we were not allowed to engage in without the uh, risk of being killed. And so what I've come to realize is that. While in the past there was a certain level of limitations, today we have access. And while I would not be the one to say that access has been perfect, I would not be the one to say that there aren't some things set in place systemically that try to keep us limited, there is still no denying that we have more access than our ancestors had. And so what I, what I want us to think about is what I want you to think about in your own time is write down what are some of the things that you feel have been limiting you personally. And think about that, write it down and process it and why has it been limiting you, all right? But I want us to get past it and I want us to eventually get to access. And I want you to think about all the ways that we have access today. We have access to public schools, okay? Even if we don't feel it's the best, it's an education that maybe our people didn't have access to before. We have access to college. We have access to financial freedom. We have access to owning a home. We have access to owning a business. We, we have more access than we ever had before. But the thing about access is that access only is valuable if you activate the access, if you use the access, if you take advantage of the access. And so I don't want to make this too long, but there are three things that came to mind as I thought about access and things that we need to think about, okay? And the first thing that I want us to think about and I want us to, 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 to internalize is that access requires a fight. Access requires a fight. Now listen to what, I, listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Frederick Douglass at some point in time was not allowed to read and neither was his people. And what he had to do is he had to take the risk to say, listen, my life might be on the line, but I'm going to learn to read. I'm going to learn to educate myself. Why? Because I understand that I have a certain amount of access and this will be able to give me more access. But it's got to be something I'm willing to fight for, okay? When you talk about Martin Luther King, when you talk about Malcolm X, when you talk about more of our great leaders, more, more and more of our leaders stepped into the limelight in order to give us access. Some people talk bad sometimes about Jesse Jackson and Reverend Al Sharpton, but these are men who put their life on the line. These are men who went to battle in order that my generation could have access. And because they went to battle, because Martin went to battle, because Malcolm went to battle, Barack Obama was able to one day stand and, and, and step into the place of ultimate access. When we thought that we would never get to a point of being able to see somebody like us in the White House. Okay? So we have access, all right? But access does not come without a fight. And so we have to fight for that thing. And, and, and year after year, generation after generation, we've been in a fight to have more and more and more access. And it's up to us to continue fighting for that access. 
with movements like the Black Lives Matter, with other movements as well, all right? And let me not make this too long. The second thing that we need to understand if we're going to have access is that access comes with responsibility, okay? Now, now what do I mean? What I mean is that when you try out for a sports team and a coach at some point says, you have made the team, I give you access to the team, I give you access to our workout facility, I give you access to uh, the, the other things that, that, that we provide. I give you access to the gym. I give you access to uh, having somebody come and bring you water. I give you access to people wanting to come and interview you. I give you access, if you make it to this level, to being paid, to people wanting to write stories about you, right? You have access to that. But access also comes with a level of responsibility, okay? So listen, and, and when I talk about responsibility, there is an expectation that when, once you have access, you will operate with a certain set of core values. So if I, if I play for a particular team, then there's an expectation that when I step on the court, I'm wearing the team's uniform. <laughs> All right? There's an expectation that I conduct myself in a manner that represents the team well. If, I, if I've given, been given access to a job, then there's a certain expectation that I will do things that are in line with the core values of that job. Okay? So access comes with responsibility and core values. And the last thing that I want to leave us with is that once you have access, there is a duty to help other people have access. All right? So you see, what you have to understand is that what our forefathers did not do, our forefathers did not say that once they got access, they only cared about them and that was it. But they said, listen, once we have access, we will show other people how to have access as well. Okay? And our communities will go nowhere. Our country as a whole will go nowhere, except that those who do have access continue to pour in and show the others who have not figured out how to have access how they can too have access. All right? So those are the three things. Matter of fact, let me write it down for you, okay, just so you don't forget. So, one, access requires that you fight, all right? Two, access comes with responsibility and core values. And three, access requires that you give back by showing other people how they too might have access. And so, I wanted to leave you all with that, all right? Limitations are no more. I can't even spell. All right? We now have access. All right. So listen, average is failure. Average is failure. Access is empowerment. Access is power. All right? Don't let that access be taken from you. Take advantage of the access. Peace.